Hello YouTube, Super Mazaku here today. Yes, you do recognize my voice and you did not subscribe. Boy, subscribe now because we back with these top lists. We back with these discussion videos. Then on this discussion video in particular was supposed to be dropped in the middle of February of this year. Unfortunately, I had gotten nearly, you know, fatally stabbed. Um, I actually wrote a song about it. If you guys do want to really hear what happened or go into depth of what happened that day. Link in the description, title called February 17th, the day that actually did get stabbed, and they kind of prolonged this video. And now, with this last episode of uh, Birdie Toe, with Tornado, you know, doing all his little freak shit in the dreams and shit, I feel like this is just appropriate. It's way more appropriate now than it would have been two months ago, or three months ago, whenever uh, I got stabbed. So here we go, the five different types or variations or versions or forms of Byakugan slash Tensegan. Mostly Byakugan, because as we all know, Tensegan is just a heightened Byakugan. Same thing how a Mekigyo Sharingan and an Eternal Mekigyo Sharingan and Renegan is just a heightened Sharingan. You can't have the Renegan without the Sharingan unless it gets, you know, implanted in you, like Nagato. But that Renegan came from Madara Sharingan, mixing with Senju DNA. So this right here, what we have now here is just the same, pretty much the same case. So let's go ahead and start with the regular Byakugan. There's so much to really go in depth here, but I'm all I'm automatically assuming that we have some form of intelligence of the Naruto fans that have seen the Byakugan, the 360 Vision, the eight trigrams, the uh, the range. It's like it's not much to really explain, but it's so much. I can't sit here. I'm not gonna read off a wiki for like 20 minutes like I usually do sometimes. I, I hardly ever even do that shit. I mean, I'm cursing. I doubt the weekly curses, but you know. The Byakugan. We've seen this fullest attempt, you know, extent with uh, Neji Hyuga. I don't care where anybody, oh, excuse me. Besides Kaguya, because Kaguya is a god. So anything she does for anything she has, it automatically becomes godly. But let's talk about it on the base form. Neji Hyuga, a Targam 64 Palm, a Targam's Rotation. He was like the epitome of... A Byakugan king. He's like the un no no actually he was kinda the uncrowned king because of his father being born two minutes later at the Hinata, because it's no doubt that uh he was stronger than Hinata throughout their entire life. Only Hinata, she only really surpassed him when you know she was the only one with the Hyuga excuse me, with Hamiru's chakra in the last movie that kind of confirmed like okay, this is, she has some form of god chakra she can somehow tap into. Probably not anymore in the Berto movie because she's way out of her prime. She's not a fighter anymore. But for the Byakugan 360 vision with uh, the exception of one blonde spot, I believe right behind the neck. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, we've seen pretty much everything from the Byakugan 64 palms. Yo, but rest in peace, Neji dog. I, I'm still mad that why why couldn't Sakura die? It, and why did Kishimoto say hey he died so Hinata and Naruto would be together? Why couldn't they be together and he'd be alive? So I'm I'm confused about that because Naruto still didn't realize that um Hinata loved him until the last movie, so it was like Neji just died for nothing. Just kill Sakura next time. Man. Sasuke stood up, smashed Karin, and created a, a, a godchild, much like a uh, freaking. <laughs> Burrito is basically, but let's go on to the next Byakugan. Or this Byakugan, people got pissed off at me because I called it a half breed Byakugan when it is, which is Hima, Hima Warriors Byakugan, which is clearly different and uh, way different in looks. It looks like she, it's just Naruto's eye painted white, and they did that on purpose. It's literally a half breed Byakugan, she's only half Huga, I'm a half Huga, and people got pissed off at me. For state, stating the obvious, I'm stating the fact. I'm not saying maybe it's weaker, even though I'm pretty sure it probably is. I'm pretty sure her Byakugan is weaker than a regular Byakugan because it's only half breed. I'm not going to single it out because of how her brother is reacting now. Her brother's a beast. But it's like, you know, she awakened it. You know what? You know what? Let's take that back. She did awaken the Byakugan at like the age of three. So maybe, you know, her Byakugan might be special as well. But it's just nothing special about Naruto's eyes. It hurt eyes at least Naruto's eyes turned into a Byakugan. It's a head breed Byakugan. It's not a full one. And people get pissed off and I state the obvious, but do I think it's strong? Absolutely. Do I think she can have something unique? No, I don't. I don't. Do I think it's a possibility? Absolutely. But do I think no no no. It's just, it's a head breed Byakugan. We're gonna leave it at that. We're not gonna go in that. And the next Byakugan, before we go into the Tensegans and shit, that I would like to talk about. 
Um, a lot of people probably wouldn't even recognize this Byakugan if you do not read the Boruto manga. But um, a couple of months ago, a, scan, a color or scan was released with Momoshiki's brand new transformation that they changed up in the manga. When he had a golden Renegon after his transformation, and his Byakugan, which were white, are now gold. Now, don't get hyped or pumped. Like, oh, I gotta go back and read this chat. No, Momoshiki dies the exact same way. He does nothing with this heightened Byakugan. And I feel like don't even give him a power up in Dojutsu's like that with that in the Renegon. Just to have him die the exact same way. He does absolutely nothing with it. We just know it's stronger because he's stronger in general. And it's like, why, why would they change color? It was not like a, a mark of, you know, superior. Why, was, why would his Dojutsu get weaker as he transformed? So it, it, it didn't really make sense. You know, to people, because I've seen some people going against it saying, oh, you don't know, you know, it could have been a different... Uh, Biakugan, but it's Biakugan, dude. His eyes wouldn't get weaker. That would make zero sense if his eyes got weaker as he transformed. But it is a Golden Biakugan nonetheless. There's not official name for it, so people calling it the Mecha Gil Biakugan. Please, let's not disrespect this Biakugan by calling it that since it has done nothing. Just call it what it is. It's, it's, it's a Gold Biakugan. And it's feetless as hell. Next, we have, of course, the one and only. Tensei Gan. Now, I can definitely go into depth with this. First off, a lot of people seem to forget because Tensei Gan does many, many amazing things. But people need to remember once you got Tensei Gan, you also automatically get a Tensei Gan mode to when you have um, six, I think it's four or five, maybe six. Hit true Seeking Balls behind you. You can also create a different color variation of the True Seeking Ball itself. And you can generate enough power to slice a moon in half. And only two people in existence were able to get it. Thanks to, uh, you know, having the Byakugan eyes. Because Tensei Gan is not possible without Byakugan. Not possible. Because, you no know, Teneri needed it. To, mind you, Teneri took, I believe, the second strongest eyes. Well, technically third because Hiyashi was still there. He took the second strongest eyes of Hinabi's thinking it was Hinata. So I'm pretty sure if we took Hinata's eyes... The match for him and Naruto could have been slightly different, but he still would have lost. But he knew probably wouldn't have lost in such a bad fashion. So, oh man, this dude, cut the freaking moon in half. Cut the freaking moon in half. Two seeking balls, as I stated. And he can actually control the Tensei Gan, um, I believe it's called, it's not the realm. It's a Tensei Gan, mm, Gollum. Gollum. He can summon it whenever he wants. That's kind of like the Tensei Gan's version of the Ghetto Mazo. And it, it's unbelievably strong. If you have not watched the last Naruto the movie, I highly suggest you watch it. Pastor of the, you know, the, the Tensei Gan and the summoning of the Gollum. If you haven't seen you know, Boruto episode 8, the guy that appears in Boruto's dream. Yeah, the, the exact same guy. So make sure you guys definitely check out the last movie if you have not. Because... What he does with the Tensei Gun, I can't explain it to you in a short 10 minute or 11 12 minute video. You have to watch the fight yourself, or just go to YouTube and go to Naruto versus Toneri. But I really suggest you watch the movie because the Tensei Gun actually gets verbally explained as well on how it came to be. And the first uh, owner of the Tensei Gun itself was Hamura Asuski, the brother of the Sage of Six Paths, one who helped him, and it's the reason why he was able to defeat Kaguya Asuski. So, really. Please watch the movie. Please watch the movie. And let's get to the uh, the last variation of the Byakugan. <sighs> um, there's no official name as of yet. You know, some people think it's Byakugan. Some people think it's a Tensei Gan. I was on more of the Tensei Gan side until you know, until later on today. If you guys see my review, if not, watch my review. Uh, it's kind of like a video before this one. So, you know what I mean? I was on the Tensei Gan side, but I still acknowledge the fact that this is something different. It is Boruto's Dojutsu. Boruto's Dojutsu. Um, it if you look at it, it looks like a Byakugan and a Tensengan had a baby. But that would be weird because you know people would look at it like, what if a Shamrogan and a Renegan had a baby, or they didn't mix? This is what you guys need to understand, and this is a new discovery for me. Boruto Uzumaki looks like Naruto, acts like Naruto. But he's just like Sasuke in every way. He's literally a source man. He has um, 
He's a prodigy like Sasuke, and he actually looks up to Sasuke. And I think they're really going full throttle with it to the point it gets obvious. Because as we've seen with Sasuke, had gotten his power up from his past. His Renegon resembled both Renegon and a Sharingan with the Tomo on it. And I believe they're doing the exact same thing with Boruto with a Tensegon and the Byakugan. Because look, it was stated that the Tensegon is basically like a Renegon from the Byakugan. You know, it's just like how heightened it is as far as the power up goes. So I believe they just kind of rebooted the same thing just with the other Dojutsu. Like Sharingan, Renegon, Yakugan, Tensegon. I think they just really did a mix to have Boruto kind of be like that demigod. You know, because Sasuke he has his god powers, but you know, he's still like the Uchiha. And I believe Boruto, they wanted him to have some god powers from Asuzuki, but also still be in touch with his Yakugan side, if that makes any sense. Because here's, here's the thing that people seem to really, really skip over and they do not understand. In the early stages of Naruto, yes, the manga slash anime, Hiyashi Huga is deemed to be the future leader of the Huga clan. As they already have the old guy there who is now gone in current sense. And we have Hiyashi Huga, um, Hiyashi Huga who is old as, old as dirt. If you guys seen the episodes, old as shit. But he is the leader of an entire clan that's been going on for a thousand years via bloodline. Kind of like how it is with kings and queens. It doesn't go to the person or the Huga who's the most strongest. No, it's never been that way. It's been a certain bloodline called the main branch the entire time. And he, I see Huga, his, um, his, uh, his kin being Hinata and Hinabi. Hinabi was more skilled, but, you know, after that, Hamu would power up Hinata. See, they still called her the Byakugan princess. Even at the the whole shit with the Naruto series, how Hinabi was you no know, kind of stronger than Hinata, but Hinata then surpassed her later on in life. Hinata is the Byakugan princess, technically making her dad the Byakugan king. He is the leader of an entire clan, and how it works is Hiyashi got that position because he was born two minutes earlier than his younger brother. So Hinabi would be in that same position. She could be as skilled as she wants to. She could be skilled as she wants to. It does not matter. That birthright goes to Hinata regardless because she's the oldest. Now, Hinata's child or children, Himawari and Boruto. Boruto was born first. So, regardless whether Boruto likes it or not or whether he doesn't want to do it, he is the future leader of an entire clan. And so much is riding on him. And I made this point obvious months ago. So much is riding on him in this anime, the way they have it set up, they're really not joking around. He is the leader of the Hugo clan in the making. Because after uh, Hiyashi's dead, it's Hinata automatically. After Hinata's dead, it is Berto Uzumaki. It is his birthright. And having freaking Turnery basically exploit your man, you have something really special. And in the future, you're going to say the word again. They're kind of like basically saying, fuck all, everything Naruto did. But I expected that. I feel like Boruto was like a nice combination of Naruto and Sasuke. And that's what the world needed. Because when Naruto and Sasuke fought, they both had good ideals. But it's like one really wouldn't work without the other. And I feel like Boruto, he's the one to really kind of bring those ideals into one being. He can, he, you know, he looks up to Sasuke. He follow his, but at the end of the day, he's Naruto's son. So he'll have that compassion and that understanding as well. So I feel like that was kind of set up to be that way. But you have a uh, freaking Terneri telling him about his power up. And then, what, a year or two later, freaking Momoshiki himself gives Boruto another ceiling power up. Because he said he sees something special within him. If you guys read the manga. And that something special was that eye that Boruto had. So everything is riding on this guy. This guy hasn't even gone through puberty yet. And he really met two guys. And they're lecturing this dude. Even the guy that tried to kill him. So with so much riding on Boruto's case. And with all of this. Mind you. He's, he's already genius. He already, he's already a child prodigy. Already a child prodigy. And all of this riding on him. He already met two freaking Asuski gods. I feel like he's going to easily surpass Naruto and Sasuke now. At first, I'm like, yeah, he's going to surpass Naruto. Naruto hasn't been training. 
And with Sasuke, it's going to be different because Sasuke has dimensions. At this point, I'm like, okay, I can see why Kawaii would uh, Kawaki and he beating out on Sasuke Burrito was confident enough to walk up to him like, yeah, nigga, what's up? Now I see what they're building up to. So that's basically the end of this video. We still are unsure what his um, Doji 2 is. I'm calling it a mix of the Byakugan with the Tensei Gun because that kind of really happened with Sasuke with the Renegade Gun and the Sharon Gun. It's weird, you know, it's like an evolution of it, but it's, it's a complete mix. Visual wise, it's like, yo, this is a Gun on top of a Renegade Gun. And in Burrito, it's like, yo, this is a Tensei Gun on top of a Byakugan. And there's so much riding on him at this point. I'm looking forward to see what happens next. Now, what do you guys think of my theory on that? It's kind of obvious to me, unless they go a completely different direction. But one thing is factual, all these visual jutsus are Byakugan related. So, there you go, Super Mazaku with the five forms of Byakugan. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share it everywhere. I would appreciate it if you guys share it, dog. Let's get this video views. Let's get those, these views out the roof, dog. And please listen to my song, link in the description. Even if you don't like hip-hop, it, it's literally me telling a story to something that tragically happened to me. And that took a lot out of me. So you guys just simply give me two minutes of your time. As I gave you guys like 15, I don't know how long I've been talking. I would very much appreciate it. Until then, like, comment, subscribe. You guys have a great day. And please, if you got something to say about my speech, I'm Haitian. Just get over it. Get over it. I'm Haitian. They're like, come on. You guys want to get literal? We all have broken English. The real English is in the UK. So stop with that bullshit, please. Like, comment, subscribe. You know I said it like five times. Super Mazaku out. Little did I realize that day on the 25, he had a look in his eyes like he was looking to strive from his emotions. His pented up emotions, cutting wind of the erosion from the drama his house holding. He was holding, he was hurting the side.